We now have uh, Dr. Kesa and Mohammed Usman from the Department of Mechan Mechanical Engineering uh, at Madubalu University, Zaria. Good morning, Dr. Usman. Good morning. All right. Um, it's a cheering news getting to know uh, you've made efforts to invent a locally made ventilator. Please tell us more about this initiative. Yeah. The idea was conceived by a team of engineers in Ahmadibella University, Zaria. We have a team that work together, which comprises of people from the Faculty of Engineering in Ahmadibella University, the Center for Equipment Maintenance and Development within the university, the Distance Learning Center, and the Ahmadibella University Teaching Hospital, where our biomedical engineer is based. Mm -hmm. The team together designed and fabricated and tested a ventilator, an intensive care ventilator, which works off-grid with a solar rechargeable battery and which can also be connected to the grid. The ventilator has some unique features that are similar to most of the ventilators invented outside the country. We have a bacterial filter which was designed and uh, produced locally. We have a humidifier, which was also done locally, and the interesting inventor mechanism, which is now undergoing a patent registration, which has some very interesting and unique locomotive system that does not make any noise, no noise. You know, in intensive care unit, uh, mostly the patients go, uh, the people go into the uh, ICU to visit the patient, are uh, meant to wear soundless uh, shoes mm. so that the patient will be uh, at rest at any moment. So our ventilator does not make any noise. Great. So uh, beside the ventilator, we also invented a four-in-one hand sanitizing machine, which produces soap, water, and it dries somebody's hand after wash. Mm. Then later it gives a sanitizer for uh, sanitizing the hands. All right, Dr. Osman, do you intend to make it available for test run in hospitals and maybe uh, commercialize it? Is that a plan? Excellent. The ventilator will be taken to the Ahmadibella University Teaching Hospital for clinical trial. As I told you earlier, amongst the team members, there is a biomedical engineer who is based in the hospital who are dealing with most of the hospital equipment. So we made sure that we follow the standard specifications of a ventilator and we'll take it for clinical trials before commercialization mm -hmm. when we get all the necessary certifications from the standards organization of Nigeria and other standardizing agents. If, if you compare this with the ones, the usual one, uh, what's the difference and how uh, efficient do you trust this ventilator will be? Our ventilator is efficient, is trustworthy, is simple, and is useful and can be fabricated using most of the available materials within the country. And it is, is cost effective because the cost will, like we are computing the product cost now. Uh, we agree that it will be uh, like 10, 20 percent of the imported ventilator in terms of cost. All right. During this time, Dr. Usman, so many people are saying, well, maybe we should seek for homegrown solutions uh, to uh, COVID-19. Do you agree? And do you think that, yes, that's the way we should be looking at, you know, to leverage on our own indigenous knowledge, our own homegrown uh, local solution in curbing COVID-19? Sure. You understand that when the pandemic is at its peak, there is no movement, no transportation between a country and another. So movement of goods and services are halt. So what we think is we have to look inwards, what our local and domestic engineers can produce and what our market can provide using the necessary available resources. Because now if you depend on imported uh, machines, perhaps you may wait a month, two or three, and people will be dying. You know, we have to look inward and see how we can improve our best technologies and how we'll make use of them. Because we have the resources, we have the engineers, and we have everything that it takes. And we can compete internationally with any other set of engineers. Thank you so very much, Dr. Usman, for your time and for the good work that you and your team are doing. Keep safe where you are. Thank you. Stay safe.